Hey, honey, how was school? What should we do? He hasn't been the same since he got that book. Nathan, where are you going? I have to leave the swamp. I'm gonna get fat and die. Where's my horse? What is up YouTube, we got another great video for you guys today, but before we get into it, almost 97% of you guys watching my videos are not yet subscribed to the channel. So do me a favor, take a second, tell your brother, your mother, your uncle, your great grandpa, your dog, whoever, to subscribe to the channel, join the family. We just hit a thousand subscribers the other day, which is absolutely mind blowing. Over the past couple of decades, it has become increasingly easy to live a healthy lifestyle and transform your body. This is primarily because of the abundance of scientifically backed information that is out there and available to you guys, but it has not always been this easy. In this video, I'm gonna take you back in time and show you some of the absolute craziest fat loss trends that have come and gone, dating all the way back to the early 1700s. Now I'm gonna explain the introduction a little bit because I know 99.9% .9 of you guys were probably seriously confused. If you guys have ever been near a swamp and felt heavier, there might just be a reasonable explanation for this, and I'm not just talking about Shrek. In the late 1720s, a man named Thomas Short observed that fat people tended to live near swamps. He then went on to write a book called The Causes and Effects of Corpulence, in which the only weight loss tip he could propose was to move away from swamps, which is pretty crazy. Now let's get this thing cracking with some fat loss shackalackin'. Life goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around so little and we keep track of time being so serious idiots thinking it will matter keep me company downtown before the clock runs out Sun is shining, ah. but the rain is well no. friends are nearby don't need well, starting on my right, we have a quadruple shot of vinegar, which is extremely gross, and I'm not going to drink all of that because that is a lot of vinegar. But actually, back in the late 1820s, a poet named Lord Byron popularized and promoted drinking vinegar as a great way to lose fat quickly. He did so through the creation of his vinegar diet, which actually is as simple as it sounds. He basically just drank vinegar constantly throughout the day. Uh, the very little food that he did eat, he completely doused in vinegar. He wore layers to lose weight even quicker. He was pretty much a madman. And as he was a very influential poet in the early to mid 1800s, a lot of people would follow this vinegar diet, which led to a lot of people having a very unhealthy lifestyle, but they didn't know that at the time. They just went along with it. <coughs> and I could see why. <coughs> no, I can't. That's terrible. The fact that people were willing to and able to drink that much vinegar throughout the day, however much that may be, I just took a sip of it and I started choking. So, uh, very impressive. Um, I would never do it. I would never recommend it. Uh, terrible diet trend. It was a concept developed in the late 1800s by a man named Horace Fletcher, but it wasn't really a diet at all. He basically said, eat whatever you want, but what you do eat, you have to chew every mouthful at least 32 times, once for every tooth. And the reason for this was that you had to liquidize your food in order for it to slip down your throat easier in order to make you feel fuller faster. So by chewing more, you liquidize it and then it makes you feel fuller faster because it slips down your throat easier. It sounds absolutely insane, but we're going to try it. So I eat this every single morning. So I'm going to, every mouthful of food, I'm going to chew it at least 32 times. And then I'm going to see by the end of the meal if I feel fuller, I guess. I don't know, very weird fat loss trend, but it actually gained a lot of popularity in the late 1800s. People would actually sit at dinner parties and they would time each other. They would count each other while they were eating to make sure that they were getting their chews in, which is very strange, but it was a extremely popular thing in the late 1800s. And the last thing we have on my left here is called the Bulletproof Coffee, and it's a part of the Bulletproof Diet. It was created by Dave Asprey in 2009, and the diet consists of high fat, moderate protein, and low carbs. This Bulletproof Coffee has been known to be the staple of his Bulletproof Diet, and it was actually created after he took a trip to Tibet in 2009, and he tried yak butter tea drinks. So he then traveled back to the United States, and he was able to create this Bulletproof Coffee by taking just regular pot of coffee, putting it in a blender with some grass-fed butter, and some 
some MCT oil, which I actually just use coconut oil. So very simple ingredients, but he was actually able to uh, create this coffee and he actually popularized it through the use of his blog um, to a lot of Americans and a lot of people throughout the world. As far as credentials go, he claimed to have lost over 80 pounds and added more than 20 points to his IQ score by drinking just one of these a day, which is pretty crazy. He then went on to make claims that this drink can aid in cognition and help trigger weight loss, which are some pretty heavy claims considering you're better off just probably drinking a laxative than just drinking this. I mean, that's pretty much what this is considering what's in it. So just an overview of these three things as fat loss trends, starting out with the vinegar. Uh, too much of anything is gonna be harmful and uh, vinegar is just gonna be even worse. Uh, it tastes bad, don't recommend. There's no fat loss benefits whatsoever. Uh, that is why it was popular in 1820 and not 2021. Uh, the middle one, the French toast, uh, the chewing 32 times, it's just absolutely ridiculous. I mean, I guess it makes sense because after I chewed the French toast 32 times, it didn't even taste like French toast. It tasted like complete crap and I didn't even want to swallow it at that point. So I guess it would be good for fat loss or just starving yourself. Um, but anyways, uh, that, that one sucks too. And I guess that one is why it was in the late 1800s and not 2021. This one, the more recent one in 2009, um, decent. Uh, I guess there's really no harm in it. Uh, maybe drinking it every day is not the best for you, but if you're gonna drink this, just drink a laxative instead. I mean, that's pretty much what it's gonna do. You're gonna end up on the toilet either way. So pretty much all terrible. Um, from 1820 to about 2009, uh, we've gotten pretty much nowhere. So yeah, fat loss trends uh, still suck. Um, there's always going to be shitty fat loss trends. There's always going to be uh, decent fat loss trends. Just stick to what you guys know. Um, don't go off the rails and try some crazy thing because you're probably either going to end up drinking eight pounds of vinegar or um, ending up on the toilet for nine hours. So there's that. So that is breakfast. I'm going to go throw my calf warmers on. We are going to break a little sweat, kick it back to the 90s with some Billy Blanks and some Tybo. Let's go, baby. Exercise in the modern era is a staple for successful fat loss, and anybody knows this, but this has not always been the case. In the early to mid-1900s, exercise was not popular whatsoever. From about 1950 to about 1980s, when exercise really started to take off, but it was really only just cardio and body weight type stuff. There was no weights involved or anything like that. Then moving into the 1990s, that was a period dominated by Billy Blanks and his unique training style called Tai Bo. I'll let Billy explain to you a little bit more about his mixed training methods. Hi, I'm Billy Blanks. Welcome to Tai Bo. I'm going to give you a little bit information about what Taibo is. Taibo is based on boxing, martial arts, calisthenics, dance, all combined into one form of exercise that you need to help you get in good shape. If you've never done Taibo before, all I want to do is introduce myself to you and say, you know, I'm the one who created this cardio venture of kickboxing. You know, as a kid, I grew up with a learning disorder. It was called dyslexia, you know, and being a shy kid, not to be able to do really good in school. But I wanted to do good in school, but I just didn't understand what was going on with myself. So as I found out at the age of 35 I had dyslexia, I wanted to change that. So I got involved with a martial arts studio. As I started to learn karate, it gave me a chance to see out of my own eyes that I could be somebody. I became national champion at the age of 18, made the United States karate team, got a chance to travel throughout the world and compete with the United States, won 36 international gold medals and six silver medals. And then from that point, I turned professional, fought for Budweiser for five years, and fought for Transworld Oil, and became a seven times world karate champion. I went down to my basement, and I put on the theme song to Rocky. I started moving my arms, started kicking and punching. Within two to three minutes, I got cardiovascular tired. And I was champion of the world. I was national champion, as a matter of fact. So I said, you know what? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start putting all these movements together and it became this exercise that really changed me from the inside out. So I created Tybo, Total Awareness of Excellent Body Obedience. That's what Tybo represents. And just remember, you have the power, you have the will to do anything you wanna do. Put on that power and go for it. And I'll see you in the next workout.
Free from sweat. Let's go, ladies. I got it. Eight. Hey, 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 Ah, 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 Billy Blanks, Ty Bo, fat loss trend approved. Oh my lord. So that is officially going to bring an end to today's video. For all you guys out there that are trying to lose weight, trying to live a more healthy lifestyle, just please be smart about it. Do your research. There's so much information out there that you guys can find. Stick to what works and obviously stay focused, keep working hard, and keep chasing your dreams because you know I'll be right here chasing mine. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.